Yo, what's going on guys? And now today we'll be looking at Summer Alexo. Now, one thing I will mention is that I'm actually doing a second recording of this. Now, I originally gave my thoughts in the first recording, but after doing two file runs with her, I had to change my opinion completely. Um, I, I was originally thinking like she wasn't like much better than the normal version, the, the normal variant, but we'll talk more about her and her strong points. Um, this is only pertaining to really Fa. Uh, in normal content, I'll talk about that as well, but mainly Fa. Now we're gonna talk about what she is. She's still an Earth Primal Special Unit now. I believe she was defense before. I think. Um, Saber Katana. So not much should really change with her. The typing she is like special balance defense attack that don't really matter at the moment at the moment um in future it could change but right now it doesn't really matter much now mirror blade helix is her i think it's the same ogi as the uh pre previous variant so um but now she activates hildebrand um at the end for two turns technically it's 1.5 because it counts the current turn after you ogi so it, it will count that turn and one more turn afterwards. Uh, in some areas, this is better than having the spell on Ogi. In some areas, I think it's worse. Uh, in terms of damage output, this is actually more damage because you get two nukes every Ogi. Um, but you also lose out on the, the uh, quality of life to spell which can come clutch depending on the boss fight, you know, like in Fa, being able to dispel does help a lot, especially when he starts to gain a lot of stacks. So it really depends. Um, it's a good thing and a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. But in terms of actual DPS, this is just outright more DPS. Her skill one, Uncrossable Waters. So this skill is very similar to another character in the game called Vera, but it's a more updated variant uh, one thing I will mention though is that she does not get the inherent 1000 defense that Vera gets, but she gets some other little tricks to compensate not having that 1000 defense. Now she does activate, upon activation she clears all debuffs from her, so if she has any debuffs on her and you use her skill 1, everything is gone, just know that skill seal will still stop you from using the skill anyway. So that's the only thing that's really counter it. I don't also believe fear is another one. Like if you can't use skills while fear is up, so you won't be able to do anything. And paralysis, well, actually, it's a lot of debuffs when you think about it. <laughs> I, I, I guess this is mainly for like the dot, like the like the poisons and burn and all that. But generally, par paralysis, fear, skill shield will stop you from using the skill anyway. Now. Upon activation, she does gain a plethora of buffs. She gains higher defense and 100% debuff resistance. So this is very, very good. Also, she changed all damage to water damage, which is also very good. Um, combining with her skill three, I'll talk more about it in the future. And upon changing all damage to water damage, she also reduces all water damage taken to 1500 per hit. Now, this is very important to know that they classify AOE as multiple hits. So example, if you were to take Skyfall, if it's, even though it's only technically one hit, you take four hits because it's an AOE attack. Therefore, Alex would take four hits instead of one, um, giving her 6,000 damage instead of the original 1,500. Also, if you have no Mirror Blades, um, you will lose this skill. So keep that in mind. If you have no mirror blades up, her skill will break. Kind of similar to Vera if you have no bits. Other than that, that's about it. Now, Hildebrand is her skill too. Now this skill is actually, I thought it was kind of underwhelming, but the permanent stackable debuff is just a very strong mechanic. Um, and the fact that it's so it's so common that she keeps stacking it through her Ogi and her skill too is actually very, very strong. 
Now, it's damage to all foes, which is pretty okay. That's about 700k, I believe. Um, boost to all allies, defense, stackable, permanent. You get about 9% per 9% um, per stack, capping at 49%. So it's pretty good. My fault, 45. 45%, so it's pretty good. That's five stacks to get there. Not bad at all. Also, she deploys one mirror blade. So every time you use her skill two and her Ogi, she gets one mirror blade. So pretty good. Getting two mirror blades from her Ogi, one from her skill two. Not bad. Now, as I mentioned with her skill three, I did mention that it does work well with her skill one because it hits, her skill three does hit all foes water attack, lowering the water damage she would take. So that's very good because all damage she's gonna take is water. So in like a rate like five, um, she gets that inherent water attack down, making it, it does go above the 50% cap, allowing her to take even less damage she would, as she would normally. Another thing to mention is that uh, this also applies to your party. If you're running the Zeno Ogi, your whole party will be taking a lot less damage. Uh, I do do a video at the end of this, Rich Fa, so you can see how much damage I'm really taking. It's a lot, lot lower. Uh, it's about it's around the levels of how much I was taking with Medusa. So it's really, really good. And she also increases max charge diamonds to all allies. Now, one thing, I'm gonna have to look at her EMPs to explain this to you, but with her EMPs, right, she doesn't really have a ton of debuff success rate EMPs. So don't be expecting her to really hit her uh, EMP. I mean, to hit her debuffs reliably because she does not have any EMPs really boosting her debuff success rate unlike you know other characters in the game so just keep that in mind you may want to put debuff success rate on her rank it's really up to you how you feel about, how you want to go about building her but just know that her not having debuff success rate means that she's more likely to miss debuffs even in harder raids like fa well more so in harder raids like fa also upon using skill three she does gain additional effect if you have one mirror blade, she will lower accuracy for two turns. This is very strong. Um, I would not combine this hit to accuracy with her skill one though, because she's already taking next to no damage with her skill one. So her skill three is best used when her skill one is on cooldown, in my opinion. Now you may have a difference of opinion, but I believe her skill three is best used where her skill one is on cooldown. Now her support skills, uh, mirror Blade Radiance. Now, she gains a boost to attack and defense based on the number of Mirror Blades deployed. She gets a 10% boost per Mirror Blade to attack and defense. And it's un a unique modifier, which is pretty cool. Um, it caps at 50, obviously, so she's getting 10 per stack. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Not bad. She does start the fight with three of them. So, that does get, allow you to gain the maximum amount boost from Uncrushable Waters. So, it's okay. She also gains a 1,000 refresh if she has three mirror blades or more. So, if you fall below three, though, she loses her refresh bonus. But it does help the 1K refresh, um, especially if she's taking all the damage. Another thing is that she does not have hostility up. So just keep that in mind that she's not going to be gaining taking all the hits outside of her skill one because she does not have inherent hostility boost. I kind of wish they changed her EMPs up because I, I don't really think her EMPs really like HP and defense. I don't really think that should be there. That should be like hostility and debuff success rate, in my opinion. And other than that, we have the work hard, play hard, and she plays hard, bro. You, we playing, we playing real. <laughs> uh, but nah, she play hard. Uh, this, these are the buffs that she gains upon using her skill one. Um, I, I don't understand why they be doing this lately, like giving them a passive skill, even though it says it right here in the effects. I mean, that could have been her normal passive skill, which gave the attack boost for Earth attack. But no, it's like your Europa. But apparently when you throw in a bikini, you lose your boost. Rest in peace, bro. <laughs> Once you throw in the bikini, bro, it's over for your, your passive skill, apparently. So, um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I'm going to be doing a run of Fa. I won't be talking over it though. So if you have anything that you want to know more about, just leave it in the comments and I'll try to reply to you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. And with that, we're on the Fa.
終末は間もなく成就する。時は満ちた<笑>とっておきだよみんな気合い入れてくよ<笑>おくんその身に刻むがよい少女を頼るあいくさまよはっはっはっはっはっはっはっは人教よ悪しきを移せ金は信念見つかたな宝然みんな頑張ろうね<笑>これで決めるよえい、ー、お茶経ハブキーお茶経ハブキー人教だけ準備運動にはちょうどいいさあ僕の後に続いてはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっは人教よ悪しきを邪魔です冷たくして差し上げます人教よ輝けの安息が欲しいだろうさて片付けてしまいました我が不可侵の守りを奥の手だよお仕事に全力で頑張りますさあほほほほさえはずきゃ一掃しますその身に刻むがよい金は信念見つかたな宝然肉体を捨て次の次元へ。
おちょきゅうはるきおちょきゅうはるきじんきょうだぜフランティックレイトお仕事全力で頑張りますこ
の恩必ず返すぞお前の力を使うぞパラダイスロスト石伯爵から歩みを止める少女を頼むは戦場よその身に刻むがよい王者の強化の地人教の剣フランティックよ
しまいましょうか金は信念見つかったな正直の手のあり草場よこの道を邪魔です続きと行こう。